Hi folks, Big Daddy Rich here with the WBDR. And this is Customer Etiquette 101. This is for all you telecommunication customers that may have a technician coming out to the home. Uh, number one, the Trackstar customer. All right, this guy is the one that eases around back and he puts out some starting blocks that he sets his feet in, gets in a three-point stance, and jacks his arm up. And soon as he hears the tires on that bucket truck hit that gravel driveway, boom, he fires off in a sprint, jumps through the window, and sits in your lap. That guy right there, listen, track star customer, do me a favor, man. Chill out. Please chill out. Calm down. We're going to get there. All right, we're going to get there, and we're going to get you fixed. We're going to knock on the door, and we're going to talk to you. Ain't no need for you to be out there just speed walking to the truck as soon as we pull in the drive. We appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you very much. I love you. I, lo I love your energy, though. You got great energy. And you use that. Use that somewhere else, please. All right? Uh, number two, the uh, last-minute customer. One that uh, kindly don't clean at all leading up to the technician coming. If you live in a house and it's just full of junk, nastiness, and it's filth, that's your prerogative and that's great, okay? But when you know another person is going to have to come into that dwelling, tidy up just a bit. Just a bit, man. I mean, I'm not asking just a whole lot. I don't want you to remodel your house or nothing, even though that's probably what you'll tell me is going on. I'm asking you to Maybe pick that dirty diaper up that's been laying there for the last three or four days. You know what I'm saying? Maybe maybe them old pizzas that's got mold growing on them, man. You can just take them, throw them in the garbage. It ain't no big deal. And, and right there by your jack that's probably full of dog urine, if you could just kind of clear out a hole just so that we can get down on our knees in that carpet where the pee is and soak into our pants and fix that jack and, and ease on out of your house, if you don't mind. Appreciate that. No disrespect at all. I just just want you to tidy up. Just you know we're coming. Just tidy up just a bit, if you don't mind. Thank, you. thank you. I appreciate it. Uh, the smoking customer. This is the one that smokes uh, like a freight train, just one after another. They'll be lighting their cigarettes off of the other cigarette that they just got through smoking. Those guys. Uh, if you could just ease outside for a minute and and puff on that. Okay, I know you got to smoke it. I know you like living like a tar kill in that house. But if you would just ease outside just for a spell, okay, and smoke that cigarette so that it, that when I leave your house, I don't have stage four lung cancer. That'd be greatly appreciated. Uh, the smell just kind of sticks to you no matter what you do. It'll stick with you all day. And usually it's those early morning customers. I like to puff them down as they drink their coffee. Okay, well, if that's you, just be aware that there's somebody coming out there and you, they don't really want to breathe all that in, okay? Uh, the over-the-shoulder customer. Now, this guy follows you around like a little lost puppy dog the entire time. You go around to the box, he's looking over your shoulder. You go to the jack, he's looking over your shoulder. I'm convinced if you crawl underneath the house, he'll be right behind you, shining the light, okay? Listen, back off, man. Back, just back, right on off. I don't want to be walking somewhere and stop and have somebody run into my back end. Okay, just give me a little breathing room here. Let me let me suck in a little fresh air that don't have your breath in it, if you don't mind. These eyes gazing on me. If you see me, I'm start fumbling around tools and stuff. It's because I know people's watching me like a hawk. Uh, it makes me a little uneasy. So just back off a little bit. Give us a little room. Give us our space. Let us do our work. Okay, and uh, last but definitely not least, probably my favorite, is the know-it-all customer. This guy here knows everything about what you're doing. Everything. Knows where the trouble is. If All he needed is just a little bit of tape and some Gorilla Glue, and he could have fixed it himself. He, you pull up to the house, and he comes out there and says, Yeah, trouble's out there about that uh, third pit down down there. I tell you, it got run over in 1962, and uh, ever since then, every time it rains, I hear a <laughs> on the line. Okay, that guy right there, you, man, hey, we get paid to do this job. We'll find out what it is, and we'll get it fixed. Okay, sir? 
Okay, sir, please give us just a minute to get the line fixed the way we like to get it fixed and back off me about it. Don't be out there saying, I, uh, well, uh, is there an amplifier on this line out there? We call them repeaters. Okay, if I say this is a repeater and I, it's bad in that repeater, I got to replace that repeater, don't come at me and say, you mean an amplifier? <laughs> well, I don't know. If we hook an electric guitar to it, can we play music through it? No, it's not an amplifier. It's a freaking repeater, and that's what I called it. Back off! I know what I'm doing! But I ain't upset with none of y'all. I love every one of you. God bless all of you. If you need me, I'll call you. Thank you for watching WBDR.